Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. My name is Parker. Today I've got another ranking video for you guys. Like I always say, these videos do so good and I really enjoy doing them. So today I'm going to be ranking every new item and weapon in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like down below and please click subscribe guys. I really appreciate it. And if you guys are picking up anything in the item shop, of course, pop in code ParkerDV. I really appreciate it as well. Before we jump into it, I do want to quickly just go over like the way I'm gonna be ranking these and what exactly I'm ranking just so that there's no confusion. And of course, these are all my opinions so you guys can totally disagree. Let me know in the comments if you change anything. So let me go over the rules really quick. So I will be ranking every new weapon this season, which there's two. I will be ranking every unvaulted weapon and item, which there's quite a few of them. I will not be ranking any weapons and items that were carried over from season one to season two because I don't see a point in doing that because I've already ranked those in another video. And I will not be ranking POIs or map changes or anything like that. I will just be ranking the weapons, items, and anything that you can use. So for example, that could be vehicles or tanks, for example. So that is the categories I'm going to be ranking today. So guys, here's the tier list. It goes from OP, which is OP, right? And then it goes good, all right, not bad, and trash. Pretty simple, makes sense, and I've got 12 items we're going to be ranking today. So guys, let's jump straight into it. First off, we're going to start with the new weapons this season. So, the first one is the Burst Assault Rifle, and this time, however, it has a scope. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this under all right, and hear me out. So, I've been using this pretty much every game, and I always find myself picking up the other AR or even the thermal, which we'll get into later. So the only problem I have with this is when I aim down sights with this, I just feel like the sensitivity just goes so high and I have tried adjusting it down and it just doesn't seem to help. And the double burst just, I'm not feeling it. It's really hard to hit shots. So that's why I'm gonna put it under all right. Next up, we've got the combat SMG. This is a brand new weapon introduced this season. I'm gonna go ahead and put this under Ooh, I, I wouldn't say OP, but I would put it under good. It's really close to OP. This weapon is so good in my opinion. The headshot damage is like 40 something. It's just insane for an SMG. However, there is a lot of recoil, but honestly, for that damage and the fire rate, it is just nuts. We've also got the Stinger SMG in the game currently, which was in last season, which don't get me wrong, I would still use that weapon anytime. But if I were to pick between the two, I would choose the combat SMG. It's just overall a great weapon. Alrighty, next up is the armored battle bus with the turrets on top. <sighs> okay, it's just OP. You can just drive this thing with other people on it shooting and you can ram through buildings. Like, come on, it's OP. It's crazy and it's so much fun just ramming through. And it's a battle bus too, like that's so cool. This is the first time we've ever actually driven a battle bus aside from the chapter two season four Galactus live event where we flew the battle bus. So this is actually the first time we drove one. So super cool, such a fun item. Next up, we've got the cow catcher. It's such a weird name, but this item can be used in a number of ways. So first off, it can be used to put on any vehicle you want to create an armored front that allows you to run through buildings and stuff and of course hit people too, so super cool. The second ability you can do with this thing is you can actually throw it on the ground as a way to build. It's really cool. Um, you can throw it down and it puts up like a half wall almost so you can crouch behind it It does provide you with a little cover which of course is very helpful because there is currently no building in the game So I've actually used this once in a fight and it did help me out a little bit I don't know if I would carry them the whole game though just because it does take up an inventory slot So it's pretty useful. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these under all right um, It's just an item, you know if, if it's laying there and there's a vehicle. Okay, cool I'll throw it on and then drive, but it's not going to be something I'm going to be searching for all the time. Next up is the blowtorch. All right, we're going to put this under good. Um, so this item, if you don't know what it does, it repairs vehicles, which is awesome because there's never been a way to do it except for using campfires. But it's just kind of weird. You got to like park the vehicle on the campfire and it just why it doesn't make sense. So I'm super glad that they added this and it's portable. You can carry it with you. It does take up an inventory slot, but it will repair vehicles very quickly. So it's a cool item. 
Alrighty, we've got the cannons. I'm gonna go ahead and put these under good. I wouldn't say they're OP, but they are very good, and these remind me of Fortnite Chapter 1 Season 8 when we got the pirate cannons. If you guys played that season, let me know in the comments down below. It was such a good season, but these are basically the exact same thing, just reskinned and re updated to fit with the IO. Um, you can shoot yourself out of these, and you can also shoot projectiles. That's what it says. I really don't know what it shoots out of it, but it will do damage to buildings and players. However, these things, I've only found them on the blimps, and they don't aim down. You can only aim up, which kind of sucks, but it's okay because if you want to shoot out of them, of course you're going to aim up, and you fly very far with these, and it also gives you the option to deploy your glider, which is very cool. Alrighty, next up, tanks. Favorite item of the season so far. Holy smokes. These are awesome. So, of course, these got to go in the OP category. They're just incredible because... It's a tank. I mean, like, this is the first time we've ever had a tank in the game. You get a ride in it, you get to shoot people and run people over. Like, come on, that's awesome. And they're not like the mechs where they're just extremely overpowered, that it's just broken because you can actually get killed pretty easily in these. There is a hatch on the front where you climb into, and a couple shots will actually break the hatch and your head will be visible. So you gotta be careful with that. I actually got killed, you can see in the clip. So just be careful, but otherwise these tanks are so awesome. You can boost, run people over, it'll kill them. And then it's got the thermal ability as well to spot enemies, it's so awesome. All right, so that's all the new items in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. Now we're gonna move on to some of the unvaulted items that we haven't seen in a while. Okay, so we've got the revolver. I'm gonna go ahead and put it under not bad. It's just, it's not something I really pick up unless I really have to. It's super hard to hit shots with, you know, especially close quarter shots when people are moving back and forth. Um, the fire rate is very, very slow, but I, I mean, headshots do over 100 damage, so they can be very deadly if you've got good accuracy. But it's just not a weapon I'll be picking up very often. All right, next up, we've got the drum shock, and I'm going to go ahead and put this under all right. The fire rate is very fast, but the damage is very low. Um, this is more of a shotgun. I remember when it first came out a while ago. It was more for like newer players, I guess, trying to get used to the game because it's more of a spray and pray type weapon. Um, I'll pick it up, like I said, if I have to. And it's definitely not the best shotgun in the game. The best shotgun, in my opinion, right now is the striker shotgun with the higher damage. I just love it. So we're going to go ahead and keep that under all right. Shockwave grenades. They're going under good. These things are awesome. I've used them in many situations this season already, escaping battles because there's no build, so these are so crucial to get away. There was a battle, I was on the top of the hill, three people were coming up to me, and I got shot at by all three of those people, and I had super low HP, and I used those to get out of the way and shield up. So, very useful items. I remember when these first came out, and they're awesome, no fall damage, and you can break through buildings with them. All right, the Thermal AR. So this one's a little bit different. If I recall correctly, when it first came out in the game, it was full auto. Currently, it is semi-auto with 15 shots per clip, which is decent. But again, the thermal ability is super cool. So I'm going to go ahead and put this under... It's either good or all right. I'm going to go ahead and put it under all right just because the slow fire rate kind of sucks. And the damage values aren't that good. They were actually nerfed, which kind of sucks. The original one was a lot higher, so I wouldn't really pick this up over an AR, but, you know, worst case, why not? And last but not least, the C4, or Remote Explosives is their official name. I like to call them the C4. We're gonna go ahead and put these under good. I mean, these are awesome. I've used them already a few times this season. Someone was camping in a house because there's gonna be a lot of camping this season because there's no building, so people are gonna be hiding a lot. And I threw these in a house and killed someone with them, so they're super cool. And of course, you can set up traps like always, like the good old days. You could try putting them on supply drops. I remember a lot of people used to do that and just camp in a bush, wait for them, and just blow it up. So, super fun item. I really enjoy them. Alrighty, that is my full tier list, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really did. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments if you'd change anything. And of course, if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and of course, pop in code ParkerDB in the item shop. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Peace.